Hi guys, today I'm gonna do kind of like a Kim Kardashian inspired nude look. I did my base makeup, I just covered my eyebrows and I did my foundation and I put some setting powder all over my face because we're gonna be using a lot of like black eyeshadow and we don't want that to get all over my face. I'm gonna continue with the eyes. I'm gonna take this kind of like gold nude color here. I'm gonna put that right on the lid. I do this because I have really small eyelids and I'm trying to make my eyes seem bigger. I'm gonna take this brown one and I'll put that on top of the cream. Like that. And I'm gonna take the color and I'm just gonna blend out, up and out. So now I'm gonna take a black color. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna do right there. See? I'm gonna blend upwards. You don't wanna tug too hard. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I have my little thing of water here. I put it on a very, very thin brush and I go over my black eyeshadow, the blackest eyeshadow that you have. We're gonna take this light brown that has some powder on it, and we're gonna kind of like blend in the black a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh. Makes it look a little more what? Natural. Because we're what? Natural women. Obviously. <laughs> okay. So we're done with the eyes. Now I'm gonna do the eyebrows. Okay. So now we're gonna take that same brush. We're gonna dip it in water. And now we're gonna do the outer part. Okay, so those are the natural eyebrows. Yay! We're gonna take the same eye eyeshadow that you put on your lid and you're gonna put that on your brow bone. On the fake one that you just created. So now that that's done, we can take all this white powder off. Okay, now I am going to contour my face. So for that, I'm gonna take my contour palette that is disgusting sorry about it when you're contouring your face you use a cooler tone brown because it makes the shadow look more real so i'm gonna smile and right where the line is that's where i'm gonna put the, the thing okay and i'm only gonna put a line we're gonna blend that out later but for now we want to make sure that the same angle is on this other side. And this is always the hard part, I can never get it right. But. Okay, I put it on my cheekbones, I'm going to put it on my hairline. But only where I want to hide. So I want to hide right there. I'm going to hide right there. Okay. And then the rest, I'm going to use to contour my chin. And now we're gonna blend everything else. Okay, so when you blend this, you blend upwards, like that. Make sure that you maintain this dome here to give your face kind of like um, this kind of shape. <laughs> what shape is that? An oval. Okay, blended for the gods, slay queen, yes. <laughs> and I'm gonna line my lips and I'm gonna overline just a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna take that same brown that I used for the contour on my cheeks. And I'm gonna contour my nose. Okay. 
let me do my eyelashes first. Okay, lately I've been using wig glue for my eyelashes because it dries black and it dries really quickly. Make sure you don't get it on your eyelashes because when you take it off, it will rip out your eyelashes. So be very careful. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of this black and I'm gonna blend that. Okay, next I'm gonna do the blush. And right here, just a little bit. Highlighter. Right here. There. 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 And now I'm just gonna blend that. And that is the look. Um, I'm gonna put my wig on and the costume and then talk to you guys in a second. What do you guys think? If you guys like it, please let me know. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Ah, I look so good. Um, pero like literally, pero like honestly, pero like personally, for me personally, honestly, it's not gluten free, so I'm not gonna eat it. But personally, like honestly, personally, like on a personal level, I really wanna eat it. Ah. Oh my god. Yeah, stay